everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters, and I have a special video for you. Today we're going to be kind of doing a preview slash review of some brand new paints that are about to come on the market. And I'm talking about these right here. These are brand new from Ammo by MIG. These are the Atom paints. And they'll be out very soon, and they're going to have a full line of acrylic paints in this series. And they were just recently uh, shown for the first time at one of the big model shows in Europe, and the reviews were great over there. And Adam paints were sent to me by Ammo by MIG, and what I thought I would do today is show you a little breakdown of them. We'll take some of them, we'll open them up, do a little painting with them. They're completely odorless, non-toxic, self-leveling acrylic paint. So that alone is, sounds pretty cool right there. So you don't have to worry about smells or anything. Especially that's really nice for me when I'm painting here in my store so it doesn't uh, gas out the entire place with chemical smells. So what we're going to do is we're going to take them over to the bench and just start painting a few things and see how they work out. So let's get started. Okay, guys, let's jump right in and uh, go put these paints through the paces, so to speak. Um, you are looking at this stuff exactly the same time I am. I have not opened these or anything beforehand. So I have two promo packs from Ammo. I'm not even quite sure if each one of them have the same paints inside. So we're going to open those up in a second here and see what color paints we have. I also believe that there are more colors coming, and these are just the early promos just for us to uh, show everybody how everything is. A couple of quick things. Let's actually just pull these out and we'll see because I want to talk a little bit about the paints themselves. And it looks like there's lots of bright colors. And let's just see, is it in the same one? No, okay. So we have a variety of different paints here. None of them are duplicated in between the two sets that they sent me. Remember, these are just promo packs. Uh, how they get packaged later on is going to be completely different. And, I'm, of course, I'm sure they're going to be available individually as well. Just a couple of quick things. It's got a new cap system on it. Uh, this is the type of cap. So it's a pop top, which completely seals itself off. I personally love this kind. Uh, way better than the little screw-on type. Those, I've found that sometimes if you tighten them too much, you can crack them. And then, of course, air gets inside your paint. So this is a definite benefit having that. They're clear bottles, so you can immediately see what color. That's kind of common with most paints. Uh, this is something I didn't notice when I first started talking to you guys, that it's for brush and airbrush. So what we'll do is after we test it out with the airbrush, we will get some, uh, some brushes and... Just paint a few things and see how smooth it goes on because they do say that it's very high covering and it's self-leveling, which is a benefit. Uh, that way you won't get all the brush strokes. Hopefully they will fade away. It's completely non-toxic and odorless. And finally, it's a water-based acrylic. So we'll pull those out of the way and just see some of the paints we have. So we have some like colors like leather, skin colors. Uh, I don't see any military colors yet in this pack other than the skin colors, which would be good for, you know, figure painting. And other than some bright colors, some purples, oranges, things like that. But remember, this is the promo pack. That's that's the kind of paints they're going to you know, send out to everybody are the ones that everyone's going to use over and over and over again. So what I'm going to do is, since uh, you guys know what kind of airbrush I normally use, I have my Iwata Eclipse HPCS. It's my go-to brush most of the time. And... I'm just going to try these out. I'm going to plug this in. I'm going to set it at 22 pounds of pressure. That is my normal painting that I like to use at. Uh, if it starts to spit or anything, we will adjust it and see if it needs to be dialed down or not. Because I'm actually not quite sure how thick they are. And it also sounds like there is a uh, mixing ball inside of this as well, which is... Oh yeah, yeah, mixing ball inside though. That's very nice for mixing up the pigment, especially on acrylics. So as I said, 22 pounds on my HPCS. I'm going to turn it on right now. What I've done is I've just got an old car body because it's got such a wide amount of area to paint. And we'll just pick a, a random color. We'll pick violet right here. This is a nice purple car color for this. And let me set up my airbrush and we'll come back and start painting. Okay, let's load up the airbrush with the paint. Now, no thinner has been provided to me, so we're going to try it just as it is and see if it's uh, airbrush ready, just like it is. Uh, 
looks to be fairly thin. I don't, you can guys can see inside there. Give it a shot. Let's see how it works. Okay, here is the uh, the right side of the vehicle where we sprayed the paint just just right out of the bottle, no thinner. And a couple of times, you can see a couple little dots right there. My airbrush spit, and I think it's just because the the paint was too thick inside there. So we're going to try on the other side, the exact same thing, but this time we're going to add about twenty about 20% thinner. And then we're using the Ammo by Make acrylic thinner since these are acrylic paints. We're gonna test this out and see if this makes it flow a little bit better and see how this side comes out. So let's do that right now. Okay, here we are. Here is the other side of the vehicle painted up using the same paint, same identical paint, but this time adding the 20% of the Ammo by Make acrylic thinner. My thought, of course, being that Ammo being the same company, this would be the, the best choice to thin it down with. Uh, and you can see, I think it did a beautiful job. It is very, very smooth finish. We don't have the spitting anymore like I had on the other side. And I'm not positive if this is a flat or a gloss color. It doesn't actually say. I originally thought it was going to be gloss because the, uh, you know, it's a bright color right there. But when I sprayed the other side, it looked pretty dull without the thinner in it. As soon as I put the thinner in it, it has a bit of a sheen to it here, as you can see. Now, I've let this dry for about five minutes. I went in the back uh, to clean out my airbrush. Super, super simple to clean this out. It's water-based acrylic, as you can imagine. Uh, water's gonna take it out pretty easily, so it cleaned out the brush very, very well. And like I said, gave it a, a wet coat, as you saw. And even after that, five minutes later, it's, it's dry to the touch here. Uh, what I'll do is after, I'm gonna let it dry a little bit longer, but I'm going to try spraying on it some lacquer clear coat because that is normally the way I would seal a gloss color like this. And let's see if, how that will come out. Now that we've seen that uh, that is the way to operate with this paint. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take some black and we're gonna try it again thinned it immediately and we're going to do these these running boards and these fenders here uh, since it's part of the kit let's just see what it'll look like painting these in black now this is flat black they, there is no gloss in the kit at least that i have so we'll paint it up with the flat black and then of course we can always clear coat it with the uh the lacquer clear coat like i normally would do so let's go ahead and do that right now Okay, here we go guys. Here is the one side of the car, uh, fenders and running board here, painted up with the black with the 20% thinner. And when I say 20% thinner too, I've just opened up the top 
and I filled it within about about half an inch from the top. So right about right about here, uh, like the second little twist on the the cap there. But man, that looks very very nice. It is a very smooth finish. Remember, this is not gloss black, but it has got a great great finish to it. In fact, I know a lot of car modelers trying to get that. It's not a really a matte black, but you see that with a lot of uh, muscle cars now that don't have the glossy black. This kind of looks exactly like it. Very, very smooth, dried in just a couple of minutes completely. Uh, it looks very, very nice. And I've done nothing else to this car other than just take that paint, add the thinner, uh, with 22 pounds of pressure with my HPCS and just sprayed it just the way it is you see here. Looks really nice. Now, I saved this side because I, we're going to actually just try and see about hand brushing it. So I've got a brand new brush, brand new Tamiya brush, so we don't have an old brush or anything that's going to, you know, mess up in any way. A fairly flat brush. Now, I've taken the paint, of course, and thinned it already in the bottle because I like to thin the entire bottle, get it ready to go. What we'll do now is we will take it and apply a little bit of this paint and see how self-leveling it is with a brush. And obviously it's not going to do as well as the airbrushing would, but Okay, here is the hand-painted side now. As you saw, I put three little light coats on. And uh, obviously, it's not as nice as the airbrush. Nothing ever is. But it actually did a fairly decent job. It is shiny, which I find a lot of flat paints are. When you hand brush them, they always come out a little bit shiny. But not too bad looking, I would say. And I think the, the hand-painting will come in when real small parts are needed to be painted or even just a little bit of touch up because actually I scratched a little section of this over here trying to put the body on here and I took that hand paint and just kind of brushed it in and filled it in and it did actually a really nice job just doing it as a touch up so and that was only one coat so very nice for the for the hand painting I think it did a pretty good job just a little bit of smudge but that's all could be partially what I've done right there too so uh, keep that in mind Okay, as promised, I want to show you how that paint will take a gloss coat. So I went ahead and just used a, just a basic can of Mr. Hobby gloss top coat. As you see right here, uh, I went on and put a fairly heavy coat on outside because uh, it is lacquer, it does smell. And as you can see right here, it didn't react at all with the paint, made a nice glossy surface. Since we started off with a nice flat surface or smooth surface, I should say, to begin with, did a, a nice job on it there. So keep that in mind. Uh, the, the lacquer paints will not, at least this type, will not interact with that paint. And like I said, I put a heavy coat on, a uh, fairly heavy coat on, just to make sure. Because sometimes a light coat won't do anything because it'll dry so quickly, but a heavy coat will soak into it. But it left the, uh, the paint nice and shiny here. Okay, I want to use one more color to show you guys. Uh, how it is and what I've done here is I've just opened up the bottle brand new to let you see how much of an air gap is inside and then how much thinner I'm going to put inside of this so I'm trying to keep this out of the way as much as possible so I'm just going to fill to right about there 
and that's how I thin the, the last two, the black and the purple, and that's how I got that uh, that finish out of it. So that'll give you a general idea of how much thinner. I'm guesstimating it to be about 20% based on the, uh, the paint that's inside there. So now I'm gonna shake this up really well, and we are going to paint some more with this fuchsia color. Okay, there you go, guys. There is a preview and test of Ammo by Meg's new Atom acrylic paints. Uh, first of all, like we said earlier, no smell. They're completely odorless. They're water-based acrylics, so that made cleaning the airbrush out very, very easy, and also the paintbrush as well. They, so that's very good for easy cleanup. They have great coverage, as you can see here on the uh, the purple and black car. Uh, we didn't have to hardly put any coats uh, to get that nice deep finish. And of course, it took the lacquer paint clear coat very well over it. And it's actually kind of even turned a little bit more flat now that it's dried out there. The uh, fenders and the, uh, the running board there, really nice looking paint. And of course, it's non-toxic, so it's, uh, it's okay to give to the little ones as well. Now, this is just starting to come out onto the market. This is completely new from Ammo, and I am not 100% sure yet of all of the colors. There's at least 24 colors they're coming out with, but I'm, of course, I'm joking about that. They should have quite a few other colors, uh, hopefully to match most of their other range. But very, very impressed with the way the quality was, the way it went on, the easy cleanup, and, of course, no smell makes a, a really nice feature as well. Hopefully they'll be coming out with all kinds of military and armor colors as well that we can go ahead and use in future videos. And of course, as soon as this stuff comes out on the market here in the United States, we will be carrying it on our website, andyshhq.com. So keep an eye out for it there. As soon as we get it in, we'll make a little bit of an announcement to let you guys know. So guys, uh, definitely would recommend this paint. It's a nice, nice paint and uh, no price yet on it, but we should hear about that pretty soon. But I'm keep, keep in mind, it's probably similar to what the regular ammo paint is. So under, under $4 for the bottle there. So guys, I want to take this opportunity to thank you as always for watching and please stay tuned because I have many more videos coming.